This episode of Never Too Small is brought to you by Audible. This apartment is located on the Upper West Side Historic District in Manhattan. It was originally a hotel built between 1903 and 1905. Our clients for this project are a couple, and they formerly lived in a two-bedroom apartment. They decided to downsize to a studio. What we wanted to do was help them feel like in that transition they hadn't lost any space. There's room for everything that you could have done before in a two-bedroom. This location is filled with a lot of buildings from the turn of the century. This one in particular is a Beaux-Arts style building. Our clients wanted to create a space where they could entertain their friends, cook together in an open kitchen, and still have space to work from home occasionally. When we first started this project, the apartment hadn't been touched probably since the 1960s. The biggest change that we made to the layout of this space was to bring the kitchen out into the living space and create one large living area that feels open and bright. We then separated the sleeping nook from the kitchen with a storage wall there's no laundry inside this individual apartment. The laundry is on each floor, and the residents of that floor share it. In the entrance, we created an arched frame over the top of the door to make the space feel a little bit larger. We also carried that through to the closet doors, which go from floor to ceiling. It's a pair of double doors, so it feels like the space is a little bit more vertical. We also, in the entryway, repurposed some remnants from the kitchen countertop into two small shelves. The owners can use them for storing small objects. In the living room, what we wanted to do was create a nice open space for a seating group. We built this niche space that's an arched form to carry the rounded look through into the living room. That arched nook becomes the place where the TV goes and also a space for three floating white oak shelves that match the white oak reclaimed floors. In the kitchen, we opted for a very neutral soft white for the kitchen cabinets. They're reflective, so they pick up the light from the window across the room. We also chose a very soft gray and white quartzite countertop, which carries over into the living room side as a waterfall edge. For the refrigerator, we opted for a panel-ready model that allowed us to make it the same visually as the cabinets adjacent to it so that it blends into the space. The kitchen includes this stainless steel rail on the backsplash that you can use for a paper towel holder, a shelf. There's actually even an iPad attachment for it so that you can have recipes on hand when you're cooking. Between the kitchen and the living room, there really wasn't enough space for a full dining table, so we designed a custom table. We're calling it a Murphy table because it actually flips down from the wall. You put it down, attach a leg, and it can seat four people comfortably for dinner. When it's not in use, it appears like a piece of art on the wall. The artwork inside is actually a piece of wallpaper that the owners found since this is a functional piece, we didn't want it to be any artwork that was too precious, so the wallpaper was perfect. In the sleeping area, we created a wall-to-wall -wall custom upholstered headboard that made the room feel as big as it could. 
We made sure to have space for a queen size bed and two small nightstands on each side of the bed. On the opposite wall, we built in two storage closets, one of which actually has a deep storage niche that uses the corner of the kitchen that you can't really access from the kitchen side. We wanted to really bring the light from the bathroom window into the space as much as possible, so we also created an arched door with frosted glass inset into the door so that the light from the bathroom can filter into the space as well. We converted an existing tub into a shower. We selected a white subway tile in a vertical running bond orientation to help give the bathroom height. We opted for a wall-mounted toilet and a vanity that is up off of the floor on legs, which gives the whole room a feeling of added height and lightness and also makes it easy to clean. What I think is important in general with design, but especially in small spaces, is thinking about how the space will be used and using that as a starting point for everything else that follows. Living in a smaller space makes you realize that you don't need so many things and it makes you focus on the things that you do have and what's important about those. I think it's a much more sustainable approach to reuse the buildings that we have and repurpose them for contemporary life rather than take them down and build from scratch. It also helps maintain the historic fabric of the city. We get to keep the original architecture and preserve it, but also update it for someone's current lifestyle. This episode of Never Too Small is sponsored by Audible. New Year's news resolutions. We want to eat more healthy, more productive, more fit, and develop new skills to improve our well-being. Audible has created a destination for well-being that delivers inspiration, encouragement, and actionable steps, no matter what your goals are. At audible.com slash wellbeing, Audible editors have curated a range of titles featuring experts in the wide range of self-care and self-development categories. From mastering your emotion and improving relationships to getting in shape and finding more success at home and at work. Among the listens are brand new titles from some of the most inspiring original voices in the genre, including best-selling self-help expert with a new podcast called Here's Exactly What To Do and coach Pamela Mitchell has created Mastering the Skills of Reinvention, which can help you turn the life you dream of into the life you live. If you are new to Audible, there's a 30-day free trial. Otherwise, we encourage you to check out audible.com slash wellbeing and start listening today. Not getting enough Never Too Small? Want to take this friendship to the next level? Join us at patreon.com slash never too small. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.